Hello everyone, my name is Lopsklati and welcome to the Bricks Awesome How It Works video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import the layout or you know how to set up the Bricks Awesome. Okay, now let's go to the section of how it works over here on the home page. You can see how it works. So, first is the purchase access pass, and second is the members area page. Okay, so let me show you how to you know the first step okay so currently we are running the summer sale so that's why you see this page otherwise uh, you know you will see a default uh, pricing page and uh, let me show you the pricing so 179 yearly lifetime 249 lifetime plus courses 299 and you can use this code summer 30 to avail the 30 percent off on all the plans okay now uh, let's go to the second step and I'm assuming that you have already purchased the access pass and you're a member of uh, Bricks Awesome and now you're looking to set up the product okay so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up the layout so I will simply download the zip file and also I'll open the layout doc so we can just you know um, you can just read that because it's easy to set up using the remote template now let's look at how to set up remote template okay so make sure that these things are really important and uh, it's exactly the same so WB memory limit max execution time and stuff okay now you need to get the URL and password so the zip we have downloaded you can just unzip it and uh, then open the txt file and inside that you will get the URL password and theme layout uh, theme style layout link okay so uh, let me show you now all right so once you have the link and everything just go to the settings of bricks so already we I am having the bricks over here I'll just go to the temp templates and I will paste the remote template URL over here and the password over here and uh, let me quickly save it so once we save it and let's create a new page so i'm going to name it home page so i will just click on publish and then i will click edit with bricks and uh, now i will go to the templates remote template and make sure to refresh it to get the latest content and i will use import images and because i'm not having any content in the page so i'm not going to use this one remote replace content okay and uh, in the layout i'm going to import or uh, maybe this one okay so if you want to have a preview you can just click on this one otherwise click insert template and uh, color palette yes now if you see it's a bit uh, the design is not exactly the same as we have on the website now what you have to do is that once you are done with these you know edit with bricks uh, templates import template uh, yes now save it okay now the next part is to set up the theme style so let's go to the how to set up theme style and if you see we are having a template uh, link over here I will just uh, I'll go back and uh, make sure to make it link not a normal text okay but for now let's go to the theme style and now let's search for the software IT solution okay so over here if you can see brick software IT solution layout let me just copy it I'm sorry download it and then I will unzip it and I will get the JSON so over here if you can see it's a JSON now I will go back over here and inside the settings theme style I will just plus icon and then I will go back uh, to the finder just drag it through here now multi-purpose theme imported now let me just theme style and I will choose this one and condition should be entire website so I will just quickly save it all right now I will just delete this stuff and let's see how it looks like so perfect now it looks exactly the same as we have on our website so make sure to import or to oh uh, yeah import the layout theme style without that it won't look as great as it looks right now I'm sure you enjoyed the video and the next one is for the wireframe and the child team and stuff like that. And stay tuned for the new product. I'm sure you're liking it. Okay. See you in the next video. Then take care and bye-bye.